Good morning, everybody. I don't know if you saw it over on the community tab or on Insta stories or if you don't care, but I got a new filming set up. It gives me extra desk, desk space. You are now mounted on the wall. Um, you should hopefully have less camera shake too. Um, so let me know if you know more about lighting than I do, if anything needs tweaking, but um, so far I think you can see it okay. And we're going to jump in. This video is a flip through video. I do these every month and honestly they're like my highest viewed videos even though I put in the least effort. So I love that. I hope you do too. Uh, here we are very chatty so go ahead and either pull out your own planner or start doing some chores or something. I would love to accompany you on something productive. I, I've mentioned that a couple times because uh, like I started binging Carrie Harling videos while playing World of Warcraft once and now every time I hear Carrie Harling's voice I want to play WoW and that's not a healthy association. So maybe if my voice can help you want to clean the house, I am doing some good in the world. <laughs> We're in my Filofax Malden still. It took me a minute to get used to it, um, but I think I'm there. Like, I am i don't miss the pen loop anymore. It is kind of an ordeal to get it in and out of here, but I really prefer this G2.38 uh, over the Muji that I had been using. The Muji fits in the pen loop, but two things, I guess. One is that this pen loop is kind of jacked up. Um, I got this used, pre-loved, um, and that's fine because I got a fantastic deal on it, but the pen loop on the inside is all kind of wiggly and it doesn't, um, the lining of the pen loop doesn't go through all the way. And so basically if I try to insert a pen this way, it'll get all bunched up and then it's a problem and sometimes it won't even let you push the pen all the way through. So it's an ordeal. Anyway, uh, but also just, yeah, the Muji skips. I think that's what I was saying. The, the Muji just kind of skips a little bit more and it takes longer to dry. I just, I'm finding I prefer the Pilot. So I stick it in the rings when I'm not using it um, and then try to remember to always have one with me. So uh, front pocket has the little Ulta card I used to cut washi. It's got some stuff wrapped around it from June and July's color themes. <laughs> uh, is there anything even here? Oh, my COVID vaccine card. Yeah, someone was telling me I should move that um, probably. I don't know. I put stamps in here, uh, because I don't want to forget them. And then I have a couple of these little tiny Twin 16 stickers, which honestly would probably just get lost in my sticker collection, so they fit nicely in there. The back pocket, which we'll just go ahead and tell you about, uh, it has a personal check in here, so I'm not going to start digging, but it's also got a jury summons that happens in October, because I delayed it, because I was still pumping, but I've stopped pumping, because... <sighs> um, and just mostly stickers in here. I have some Mad Hatter, some Twin 16. I may or may not have, I think I do, I have a little, uh, some planner cape back here too. Those are basically the shops I use for stickers. The back pocket also has stickers, uh, the smaller sheets that fit, also still from the same shops. I have this paper clip that's clipping the back pocket to the pen loop, and it took a couple of days to settle down, but now it has and it's not being too much of a problem. It, it's not like trying to pop out anymore. The only thing is that this back plastic flyleaf, I guess we'll call this a flyleaf, will sometimes when I'm closing it get sort of stuck under there. Um, but that's not a huge issue. I'm afraid it'll like curl my pages or something, but I, I obsess and then I just close it. Um, and does this pocket have anything? Oh, it has, it has a packet of lettuce seeds. Normal stuff. We're going to jump in um, and with, I always set that, I was telling you, these same frosted tab dividers, which the second I moved them in, fell in love and have never looked back. Um, but they're from an Etsy store that like closed shortly after I placed my order. So there you go. I don't remember. I probably like used a coupon code and put her out of business. It's terrible. I uh, just joking, but Anyway, they're from, they were from Marlene's Plan to Create. I think she still has an Instagram, but I don't believe she's selling on Etsy right now. But you can find frosted plastic planner dividers on Etsy all over the place. Um, and the acetates, a lot of them are either from Michael's or Peanuts Platter Co. This one. So we've got my currently dashboard. I filled a couple of things out. We've been listening to a lot of 80s synth pop in our house um, because my daughter said started using the phrase can't get enough i just can't get enough um of her food but what she was trying to say was that she didn't want to eat it and or she didn't like it 
I, I still don't understand the logic behind the words she chose, but we started singing the song. Um, and then I've been playing this like portal mod that I had never heard of. Um, but when I say playing, like not very often because I've been trying to go to bed early and wake up early because here I am. My monthly setup on the grid monthly. Uh, I don't know if I have to say this, but most of the inserts in here are from my own shop. If they are not, then uh, I will tell you about it. And usually you can tell which insert it is by the little number here. This is my grid monthly for August, and I did a whole play with me video, which I will try to link in the corner. If I point, then I'll be able to find it later. Um, this is from My Summer Touch. As soon as I say that, this one is from a different shop from My Summer Touch. This is the one thing, one year, one, one thing, one year, one year, one thing tracker. And as you can see, I haven't filled it out since July, but I have been doing all of it. I just need to go back and fill it out again. This is the one line a day journal that I happen to have it nearby. So I'll show you again. Um, I got this at the beginning of 2020 and I actually have been filling it out. Oh, <laughs> just like, what was that with all the washi tape? That was February 29th that I covered all up. That was fun. So it just has like a little bit of space um, for each year. And then you can just fill out a couple of things that happen each year. Um, and so that's what I do. I just sort of batch do them like once or twice a week, but then I fell back, uh, in my tracker and I haven't since July. <laughs> on this side is the Bible in a year podcast. Early on, I was trying to keep track of this, but now it is pretty well established as a habit. I listen to it on my commute. And so I've been keeping up and it's been great. This is the father Mike Schmidt's, um, podcast, which is great. If you, you know, recommend if you are looking to read the Bible in a year and you don't have to like go back and try to catch up. You could just start now and just read the Bible from August to August level 10 life. Uh, I, I redid it. I don't know if I've shown this yet, but I redid this. I try to just redo it every, every couple of months periodically to take inventory of how things are going. This time I had fewer than 10 categories. Um, but I, I tried to do that on purpose and sort of narrow it down. Um, and sort of, they're kind of categorized. And overall, I'm doing okay. Then I have goals, which I color code. And then one of them, I finally put on a monthly resolution thing. I'm trying to pray a decade of the rosary daily. It's not really happening. Um, but what instead, I've decided that that's the way that I'm trying to fall asleep at night. I, I'm make, trying to make a habit of leaving my phone here in the office. And then I use my little, um, what's it called? Android Wear watch that, um, it's, oh my gosh, this is so sweaty in the summer. Uh, but I, I wear this as my alarm clock. Um, so that just, that's the only time I wear it is when I'm sleeping. And anyway, that keeps my phone here in the office where I can't be distracted by Instagram reels until midnight. Um, and then, yeah. Oh, and so then I kind of need something besides listening to a YouTube video to fall asleep to. So I've been praying my decade of the rosary to fall asleep, just like in Our Father and as many Hail Marys as it takes. I know that's not what a decade is. Don't at me. Okay. Waiting on. I don't use this very often, but sometimes I do. That's all I have to say. I have two charts in here, NFP charts. Um, I briefly mentioned this is for tracking my fertility. Um, I, I'm not tracking it super close right now, but, we'll, you know, we're trying to do whatever right now. Um, and let's jump in. We actually have tabs now. All right. Tab one. This acetate is from Michael's and these stickers were a gift. Um, I love it. When I have one of these fun vinyl stickers, I'll just slap it on some acetate and make it a divider tab thing, you know, cover. That's why I love frosted because you can see through. That's, that's what we're doing here. Tab one is future log. This was a rearranged if you watch previous videos, but missed last month's it's different. So, um, this is a list of upcoming weekends. <laughs> so when I have busy weekends coming up, I can just sort of put a couple of notes about, you know, don't forget to bring the thing or, you know, whatever, this is what's coming up and, oh, look, I have a free weekend coming and then, oh, don't forget Labor Day. This is the future log. This one is from Peanuts Planner Co. And I love it. And it's from the yearly dated bundle. And then this one is the end afterwards future log. I recently added a new thing, car seat expirations. It's a good place to put these things that happen like in 2028. Um, and so I need somewhere to put it so I don't forget them. 
I'll probably forget them. Um, then I have in here, which I'm not going to open all the way because privacy reasons, but this is the school schedule. My daughter starts preschool on Monday and, um, I just literally just folded it up and then hole punch straight over the fold and I can unfold it when I need it. And I didn't have to like reformat it or type anything up or spend a lot of time on it. I just cropped it as tight as I could and made it way to work. My, my recurring tasks. Um, I don't know. I've, I've talked about this a lot, so I think it is what it is. Um, and I just, yeah, I fill it out or I, um, like migrate things as they happen. I haven't changed our bed sheets since June and that's going to get to be a problem. Um, all right. Sorry. I'm not perfect. <laughs> My desk is clean, but I'm a mess otherwise. Um, birthdays and anniversaries. This guy is perfectly serviceable, does what it needs to do. And so I haven't had to redo it since I moved into rings in like 2018. So here it is. And it's exactly the same and it looks great. So that's also from peanuts planner. Actually, but this insert is from her undated yearly bundle versus the dated one. So then the next tab is weeks. Look at that cutie. She just started walking last week. Um, this was at a birthday party and man, I just love her smile. Anyway, I always stick a sticker here for a you know photo from my HP sprocket. Ooh, I also have that on my desk so I can show you. It's like blue. Uh, and yeah, very handy if you like sticking family photos in your planner. They're not like the cheapest. It's probably about a hundred bucks, uh, but I got it as a gift. So for my weeklies, I have been using the fold out. Still great. I like having the fold out. Then, um, still putting some stuff here, most of the stuff that doesn't need to be shown on like Instagram and YouTube. And then I started using a weekly spread also so that I can, if I don't want to use dailies, have somewhere to put events or even to do's like this week I was using dailies This is the first week of the month. I was using dailies pretty extensively, very excited about insert 45, which is with the little doodle. Um, and just like the free, free form that it, it gives me space to like, just have fun with it. I was using stickers and washi and whatever. Then I used the two days, uh, two, yeah, two days per page here. Um, and that was fine too, because I just needed a place for a to-do list and that way it didn't take up too much space. And I didn't feel bad about wasting this much because I hadn't wasted like an entire half of the page, but then I didn't use the back of it because I was like, you know what? I can print out another one. It's not going to, I'm not going to single-handedly burn out the rainforest by only using half the page. So I just left it with its week. Uh, I used the cleaning daily for my weekend, but I didn't really, I just used this and didn't end up like actually checking things off. I don't know if I'm the only one that like, even though I have a day job, I mostly will do stuff in my planner, uh, during the week on the weekend. I'll have a few tasks, but mostly it's like projects. And I'm like, work on this room, work on, you know, there's this event, um, so generally like during the week is when I need to be like, okay, limited time. So on my lunch break, this, I'm going to do this, 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 and then get it back out the door. <laughs> um, and here's the things that I need to get done in the evening because I only have so much time before I have to get to bed. And so that's when I really rely on my planning. So then let's see. Oh, cause the weekly, the weekly is the split weekly. So it's got days of the week. Uh, Monday through Friday on this side and then the weekend on this side, Saturday, Sunday. So I had a couple of events and mostly that was what it was. I didn't really use this for much um, actual planning, but it was there already because it was part of the weekly and then everything just gets folded back up. Week two, I was relying a lot on actual just checklists on my daily and that was fine. And then Friday came around and I felt that I didn't really have anything left on my weekly to-do list to get done. It was a bizarre sensation. I was just using these little checklists. And then this one is the productivity daily 49. Um, these are new. So I remember the numbers off the top of my head, um, which I was using as just like a project page. Actually. Um, I think I was showing this at some point. I think maybe in my weekly plan with me video. Um, and so this is, I was working on the nursery. There's still a couple of things on this side of the page that I should probably do. I did the jewelry box. So I can actually move that over. Um, stuffies. Oh yeah. I'm not going to bother. I don't think right now doing that. Yeah. I'm pretty much done with this. 
There are some, we need to get some books over to my in-laws house because they have like one children's book. It's kind of sad. Um, and we have lots and lots of books and could probably use more shelf space. And then I was working on my own wardrobe. I got myself a stitch fix box and loved it. <laughs> and it sort of like sparked something in me because I had been dressing pretty, pretty casual, very casual since I was like um, pregnant and then on maternity leave working from home for a year. And now suddenly I'm like, you know what? I should probably just like look good. And so I've been dressing better. Um, but I felt like I really needed to like clear out a whole bunch of stuff in my wardrobe that doesn't fit me anymore. Since my body is a different shape after giving birth vaginally, I'll just say that my hips don't fit a lot of the, the skirts and pants I used to wear. So, um, and yeah, my, my tummy doesn't fit into a lot of the tight size, small t-shirts that I used to like. So, uh, things are different now. I'm getting rid of stuff breaks my heart. Love some of my shirts, but, um, like I don't need them. I don't wear them. So now I have a lot more space. I can see the clothes I have in my closet. Recommend if you have the time. Um, and then I actually did sort of put some to do's on my weekends. I, I went on a little mommy daughter date with my daughter to target on Sunday because we needed to get a birthday gift for her little friend, her little friend. Cause he's also turning three. Um, and we went to the target and we got a cake pop and I felt like a super mom because I didn't realize I had like 20 bucks of Starbucks credit until I got to the register. And that was a fun bonus because I was ready to pay for it. Um, then this is this week. This is the one that I did the weekly play with me video of, but I've already linked to that in the corner. So I don't have to point again. Um, so I have some plans for this week. I'd like to get working on my birthday party goals. I guess that means that it's up to me because my mother-in-law, who's usually the party planning guru person, who I work in tandem with. She is out of town this week, so I'm going to see if I can move ahead with some stuff without her and prove that I know what I'm doing. Um, and then, yeah, this is the week. This is because I like planned some actual things that were happening that, you know, stickers, which is fun. And I used a daily yesterday because I felt a little bit off. But I don't know if that's going to continue. I feel okay right now because I'm like, I know what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be filming. Um, but I felt a little bit, I, I don't know if that means my period's coming. Cause I always find that around my period, I feel lethargic and less energetic and like, uh, it's harder to know what I'm supposed to be doing, but I always find a flip through my planner just to at least show me that like, yeah, everything on all of these pages is accounted for. You just, you're just feeling weird and it's fine. Um, and then, oh yeah, it's my brother and his wife's anniversary this weekend. My, I haven't put it cause I don't have like times or no, I haven't had time to sit down with like a pen and write it nicely. That's what it is. And so there's stuff missing from here. I know I have a to do on Friday. I know I have my mom is coming to visit and she's going to spend the night and I think she's going to spend the next night. I'm excited about that. I like spending time with my mom when it's like not super busy. And also usually my father-in-law watches the kids on Fridays, but she volunteered to come up. And then we found out that my father-in-law was going to be out of town. So it worked out perfectly. I have just the one more, oh gosh, it's just one more weekly in here. How does this, how does this happen? The months are gone and then suddenly months are gone. But I have one more weekly in here. Next week's video is going to be the, um, the monthly plan with me. I have some more dailies here. I need to refill some of the ones like this, this guy. Um, I really do like this one. Uh, so these are for use when I need a daily. And then the next tab, I mean, we're only halfway through guys. I hope you like these chatty videos. I hope I'm helping you get something done. The next tab is projects, I guess, sort of. I've got this, uh, it's from Ms. Planner Co. All right, we're clear. Um, I only printed my inbox one on like one side of the page this time kind of accidentally, but I don't really, I don't hate it. Um, I just have nothing I can put on the back, but I wasn't doing that anyway. Um, no, yeah, I had some questions for the meet the teacher night this week. So that's what's in my inbox right now, because I when the more I use it, the more often I have to replace it. So anyway, but this is just for places that don't have anywhere to go. I don't want to make an entire like project section in my planner just for a couple of questions for our preschool teacher. These are 
this is from Peanuts Planner Co. too. I really like this insert. I don't get, think it gets talked enough about, about enough. Good morning. Goal planning, but I use it for like small projects, um, things that are coming up, um, bedroom, office. We wanted to establish a bank of our own house to try to teach our daughter what cash was, but at this point, she's probably going to be learning about that at school, and it's probably a little too late. I just needed to sit down and actually design it, and every time I have time to design stuff, I'm designing inserts. So that hasn't happened. Um, the girls' room. This one's done, so I could probably just put a check mark somewhere here. And there you go. Backyard, working on that, and master bedroom, working on that. I could bury my wardrobe, but now I have to do something with all of those clothes because they're just sitting in the old pack and play. Did I mention that our, our baby moved into the nursery? And it's the best. Because she's, well, I don't know if she's sleeping better, but she doesn't wake my toddler up as readily as she wakes me up. And so they both end up sleeping until 6.30 in the morning, and I love it. Someday maybe list. Yeah, you know. It, it exists, and then the honeydew list also exists. I I put a dot next to the things I've actually mentioned to him. <laughs> and the rest are things that I'd like to ask him to do, but never get around to, because he hasn't done the other things. Whatever. He's busy, too. He has a longer commute than I do. This sticker is, uh, you know, I don't remember what the name of the shop is. I never do, but I know that this, it's like sweet momo cheap something m-o-m-o-c-h-e-e-t i got this from um comic-con back when that was a thing and then the acetate is from michael's and then um yeah mostly here i'll let you i'll let you take a sneak peek this is content calendar this is august september is blank because i still need to fill that out i'd like to i think this week because i'm halfway through the month so it's time to look ahead um, and you can see what it looks like when it's all crossed off and done. I basically just keep a list of YouTube and Instagram and what's going up. Um, and it works, it works okay. I still do a lot of my actual content planning in a separate planner, which I've done a video on. It hasn't changed since then. It's a traveler's notebook that I set up to be used for all of that side of things. But I need to have the content calendar in here um, because it affects what I'm doing in a week. Then the second, so, oh, I didn't say that I've got the top tabs here. So these are for like three, play, three projects, whatever. So that's project one, I guess. Project two, I guess, is all of my projects. It, it doesn't make sense. But the second top tab is for the rest of my project pages. Um, I guess that's different than these goal planning pages. Don't ask me how, but it is. Um, there you go list of craft projects. I don't do craft projects very often, but they live here so that I can feel like I haven't forgotten them. Doesn't do a lot of good, but there you go. Um, and this is the actual pattern. So when I do pick up my knitting, I mentioned I have jury duty coming. Maybe I'll bring my knitting then. This is a road counter. Um, at least I'm going to keep it in here so that I don't forget how many repeats I need to do, but I don't always fill this out as I go but I can kind of count how many repeats I've done anyway. Oh, this is a list of general things to do in the, um, in the garden. I haven't been checking it very often. And this is a layout of the garden, but it's not really 100% accurate anymore. Examination of conscience. Uh, this is a freebie from my shop. Insert 32. There you go. And then the last one here is supposed to be for birthday party planning, but I haven't started using it yet. I'm going to put you know, guest lists and, you know, anything I, information for places to reserve stuff from. And I just haven't started yet, but I need to because she's 11 months old as of yesterday as, as of filming. Um, and so I have a, another birthday to do. I guess I'm lucky that there's like two and a half months between them. Um, by the time I have more kids, I probably won't be throwing a lot of birthday parties for any of them. Um, I'm trying to, it's like finding the balance between it is her first birthday. It's like kind of a big deal, but also I don't want too many people there because Delta variant, but most people are in, vaccinated. And anyway, this next tab is like media. I'm still trying to find a reason that the reorganization of my planner is working for me or isn't or whatever. 
I've got the two read watch list in this is general and then the next one I wrote out everything that's in the MCU and then uh, I haven't gotten to this because I'm still working on my Star Trek watch through and Enterprise is a little bit of a slog. I've been spending more of my time just like staying up to date on YouTube and then like finding new YouTube channels to binge and like okay there's only so much time in the day even if you watch things at one and a half speed you may have a problem. Um, and then these are the library books that are checked out. I don't know if they're actually enforcing due dates yet, but I have started keeping track of them again. And so that's the first time I've actually really used this insert for what it's used for, which is due date, renewal, 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 and then check it off when it's returned. So this way I know what needs to be returned. We actually got these in person, which was great. Um, yeah. Things are slowly, slowly opening up. I think once kids can get vaccinated, I'm excited for story time to start up again. And I'll just come back with like two kids, maybe a third on the way by that point. Who even knows? This is, we're talking about a decade from now when kids can get vaccinated. The next tab is sort of categorized as a shopping tab. And so I've got my meal plan for the week. I just put this together last week, or sorry, last night, put in the grocery order. I do Walmart grocery pickup. Like, whatever, how you feel about Walmart, but I have been doing Walmart grocery pickups since, like, before the pandemic. It is so convenient uh, because trying to do grocery shopping when you have kids in car seats, um, it's just so much easier to not take them out of the car seat. They just bring the stuff to your car. And so I can plan it all out in advance. And um, it was a lifesaver during the pandemic, of course. We were just doing one every week, regardless. Back when it was hard to get a slot, I would, like, book one for the the week and then add stuff to it and then it was just what happened because you only need $35 and then it pickup is free so you spend that on groceries now these days I think I'm doing grocery order less often than once a week which is kind of crazy um, but like if people keep giving you leftovers you're not gonna cook the food you've got and it was so frustrating when we got a whole bunch of leftovers when I had just defrosted pork chops in brine which were gonna start getting weird and chicken, which they ended up refreezing and then defrosting again. And we've eaten it now, so it's fine. All right, gift ideas. I used one of them. We had this chatter phone that we got as an extra because, you know, you don't always ask if someone already has the toy. But if it's Fisher Price, chances are not terrible that they do. So when I passed it back on, I knew I didn't have a gift receipt. So I asked mom and she said she didn't have one. Then we showed up and she had all of these like wooden gifts that she was getting. And I was like, oops, but at least it's not electronic. And she did seem to like it. Um, so that's a, a good one year old present is the little chatter phone. It's crazy that kids still sort of recognize what the phone receiver does, even though they've only experienced cell phones in their life. But yeah, my 11 month old is at the point where she just holds any random object up to her ear and it starts talking and it's so cute. I don't know where even where she got that because I mostly use speakerphone, you know, especially if I'm talking to their dad, they want to hear his voice. And this is, these are two different inserts. This one's the gift ideas and this one's the wish list. I wouldn't blame you if you only got one of them out of my shop and not both because they are very similar, but one of them is gifts for yourself. And so you can um, take like, or put a, uh, what's it, reward, like you can say, okay, if I achieve this goal, I get this prize. There you go. Um, oh, we're almost near the end. The last tab, as always, is just P.S. Planner, Call Acetate. Sticky notes, spare paper. What is this? These may have been timestamps for iCards on an old video. Um, that's one little drop pad and some spare paper. And then this guy here is a prototype. This is not going to get released for a couple of months because I have other things that, like, in the schedule. I have plans for my shop releases. Um, and I'll give you, I guess, a little hint. Uh, the, the next one, it's probably going to be dropping. It's like it's a bundle this month and I'm excited about it. I don't know if you are, probably not all of you will be, but it's going to be dropping sometime in the next, it may already by the time, no, probably not by the time this video goes out, but probably by this weekend. We'll see sometime pretty soon. So keep an eye out on the shop. And I will do my best to post an Insta story too. Um, but anyway, this is a prototype of like an index because I was finding that I was having a little trouble remembering where everything was. So in theory, um, 
I don't always remember to look here because for one thing, I keep my uh, this little pocket insert here with my credit cards that lives here normally, but I pull that out for filming because you guys are nosy. Um, but so I've got the six tabs, right? So you can see, okay, month calendar, all that that's on this first section. So it's actually all offset by one because you're looking at the back of it. So you pull the first tab and that's the section. Um, because the last tab is just the spare paper section. So, uh, anyway, and this is where I can find things if I need them. That's the idea. I like the idea. So there you go. One more piece of acetate, the fly leaf. I mentioned that's where I put the credit cards and then that's pretty much it. And we've been filming for, oh my gosh, I've been filming for an hour. Wow, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got something useful done. You're ironing your dishes, you're planning, you're, I don't know. I hope that the world around you is feeling good, um, that you enjoyed my chats. If you watched this entire thing but are not subscribed to me, that's a problem, so take care of that. And then um, I will see you guys. I post videos every Thursday about my planner system, not just flip throughs. Um, I do a weekly plan with me, a monthly plan with me, and then also stuff about my inserts. So check out my shop, check out my channel. I will post the next video Thursday, so I will see you guys then. Um, and in the meantime, I'm, I'm, I keep trying to be on Instagram. Um, I at least post things on my feed, so I'll see you over there too. And all of that is to say goodbye. No, I haven't been filming for an hour. I have an hour left on my battery. I've been filming for half an hour. Still an accomplishment and everything I just said applies. Um, that's all. Okay, bye. <laughs>